Good morning. This is Dr. Hazel Schillington. The kids coming from HMS Eye Center. And today we are bringing you an update about our collaboration with Dr. Ronnie Bola from Trinidad. We've just completed our third session um, where we did some cataract surgeries. We collaborated with the hospital to treat a baby. And we had two senior um, doctors um, pursuing their postgraduate studies in ophthalmology at the University of the West Indies in Jamaica and they came to join us to see what we are doing and to learn from us and we learned some things from them too. So um, this session was really special to us and then we had um, a, a medical officer who is interested in ophthalmology and so she was there observing too. Thank you very much, Dr. Ricketts. Well, the, this collaboration um, between HMS and the Trinidad Eye Hospital and us really has grown from the early beginnings of just chat for quite a long time to becoming a reality within the last year. And Dr. Ricketts, under her guidance, we've been able to cross the 100 mark this time around. So we had 103 patients 102 surgeries being done, and we're really proud that we were able to do this collaboration and be able to transform eye care and blindness in Dominica with a private-private partnership. One of the things we're looking forward to is doing more work here in Dominica in 2024, being able to deliver more services in uh, Dominica uh, under Dr. Ricketts' guidance. So we're really looking forward to a, a big 2024 year and developing more and more as we go along. One of the big things that I really like is the quality that we're able to bring. It is the highest level of uh, quality in cataract surgery and eye surgeries available in the world that we're able to bring to your doorstep. You know, I describe it like Amazon. You make a call, you put your order in it, right? It, it comes to your door. We bring in that eye surgery here to you. You just have to be able to come and access it. It's, it gets so easy. So if you find your sight is being affected by, um, and you can't see well, make sure you make an appointment, come and see Dr. Ricketts, and let's get your eye surgery done. Let's get you back into business. No, um, this time we actually had a very interesting, um, interesting turn. Um, Dr. Bola is actually a retinal surgeon. So although he's doing cataract surgery and he's done over 15,000 cataract surgeries, um, he's also a retinal surgeon. And that is providing surgery to the retina, which lines inside the eye. Now, coincidentally, on this trip, there was a premature baby who was born at 25 weeks, and the baby developed one of the complications of prematurity called retinopathy of prematurity, which can get the baby blind. And the hospital was in the process of referring the patient overseas to see a retinal surgeon, most likely Dr. Bola in Trinidad. But because Dr. Bola was here, we were able to collaborate with the hospital and provide the treatment on Saturday morning at the Dominica China Friendship Hospital. At that session, you had uh, several teams of doctors um, working together to get ba baby treated. Because a small baby like that, to put to sleep under general anesthesia for over three hours, you had the neonatal doctors there, you had the anesthetist team, and then you had the ophthalmology team. And it also provided an opportunity for Dr. Bola to teach the young ophthalmologists about retinopathy or prematurity and have Dr. Lawrence um, being involved in the treatment of the baby. So this was a big um, unexpected but um, desired um, inclusion in our mission um, this year. Then we also had a, a, another um, new aspect of this of the mission in that we had two as i said two doctors from jamaica and they came down here for the first time we've had these doctors coming in to work with us 
and I think they had a very great time and I will let you talk to them so they can tell you about their experience in Dominica. Good day, I am Dr. Adiola Field from the UE Ophthalmology Department in Jamaica. I, I am a senior resident there and this is my colleague. I'm Dr. Caroline Lybert. I also work at the University Hospital of the West Indies in Jamaica as a senior ophthalmologist in training. Yes, this was our first um, collaboration with uh, Dr. Uh, Shillingsford Ricketts as well as Dr. Bola um, here with, for the cataract mission. It was amazing. Um, did not really expect Back to have such uh, f how value how valuable the impact would be on not only myself as a budding ophthalmologist but as but within my own training as well mm -hmm. to see the, that the vision um, disability is worldwide not just in our neck of the woods and to see that collaboration is key to building in our community and sharing the experiences and also knowledge um, amongst each other from island to island, country to country, how important that is, uh, and especially to our young ones who may not, may see it just on television, but the interaction really builds on our own sense of what we are doing, what needs to happen, how we need more of us out there to make sure that vision is not a deficit or a disability in our world today. So what are some of the, of the things that you are noticing or what are some of the differences from the, the, the issues, for want of a better word, that you would see in Jamaica as opposed to Dominica? Speed. <laughs> Just how the team, the teamwork, mm -hmm. and how everyone, it didn't matter how it appeared to be small, it made a huge impact on getting the patient on the table, not even on the table, from selecting the patient, pre oping um, getting all their notes together, making sure that all the equipment, the consumables, which are so expensive, mm -hmm. to get all of that in place, then have a team ready to have everyone put, going from one station to the next, to the next, and finishing every, everything being flawlessly done, the teamwork, just everything coming together. It wasn't just for the patient who we did so many and could have done even more, <laughs> To be able to finish in such a record time was amazing. And I know the team felt fulfilled at the end of the day that we, we, that at least 50, you know, so many persons walked away with, with not a disability in such a short period of time and such improved vision was, I think, the most fulfilling part. Yes. Three. So on, on Saturday, we were able to do a premature a baby who developed a retinal complication of the prematurity. And as you can see, this, the size of these babies, they're really, really tiny. So the size of the eye is really tiny. And if they're born a, a, a little before time, the eyes don't mature 100% like it should until about two. And what happens in these babies is they run into a little complication called retinopathy of prematurity, where the retina, the inside lining of the eye doesn't mature uh, as it should normally do in, in the womb. And we have to do some emergency treatment to preserve vision. And one of the issues with babies of this size is obviously you need a full uh, team of doctors with lots of super specialties involved, neonatology, the ICU type uh, anesthetist, doctors like myself who are retinal specialists. And I think this baby is prone 
to be having miracles happen. First baby born at 25 uh, weeks in this country. This is the first baby to have achieved that and been able to survive that. This baby is obviously highly res resilient at an early age. And probably the stars are lining with this baby for something miraculous to be happening in, in, in the life of this uh, young man. So we are looking forward to seeing what happens in time with this uh, young man. Um, because we know that something really special has happened many times already in, in, in the child's life. Me being here at the exact time the baby had an uh, urgent retinal uh, need that had to be taken care of within hours. And within hours of me landing here, I, I already knew that we had to operate. We did the operation. It took two to three hours of operating time to deliver the treatment and now we could see the effect of that treatment already taking effect on the eye and the eye is already healing and with all this treatment this young man would have no sight or no chance of sight so this is a sight saving procedure that was performed here with a full team we have to thank Dr. Lawrence who really pushed for this to be done. It took a lot, a lot of effort. You had to go all the way out. We had to go all the way to the top to convince everybody that this needed to be done. And it was done in record time. She contacted Dr. Ricketts, who had the foresight to see, hey, I think this is very doable here because we're getting the retina surgeon in. And the whole team coming together was almost another miracle because you need full team up. ICU, neonatology, you need all the nurses on board, surgery team, and you need all the doctors. And it was almost a miracle to see everybody in the same space performing this surgery. So I just want to show you a little bit of the retina and what happens in, in the eye. So if we look at the eye cross-section here, this is the, the retina here, this is the line in the inside of the eye. And what happens in in, in, in babies like, uh, like him is that these blood vessels, because the, the child is born early, doesn't get to go all the way out to the edge of the retina and therefore it's underdeveloped. And when this underdevelopment occurs, there is a risk that the retina could then fold inwards and you have total loss of vision. So what we did was we gave some medicine in the eye and we did laser treatment to allow the blood vessels to grow normally and that will preserve the vision. So we were able to deliver the laser treatment and the medicine to, to reverse this process. So that's what we did and we are very, very excited about the treatment and the, and the management outcomes. Thank you. So what what yeah. does his um what is he, what happens now? How often would he have to get um, checkups and so on? So now we will be working with Dr. Ricketts, Dr. Lawrence, and myself. The three of us will be working uh, to ensure that as the follow ups go, we know how the progress is going to take place. Initially, we have to watch really closely every one to two weeks. They'll, they'll come and bring, doc, they'll come uh, with baby to see Dr. Lawrence who will examine the eye and then she will determine the, the next visit and the next visit. So I just wanted to add that um, when the new eye clinic was being equipped, I ensured that we had the particular laser that would be required to provide that treatment. So actually, I anticipated that we would need to treat pretty much your babies, and I bought the laser, the particular laser that was needed. Because even if Dr. Bola was here and we did not have the laser to do it, he would still have to be transferred overseas. So this just showed that we had foresight in equipping the eye center, the Brenda Stratford Foundation Eye Center, to be able to provide treatment to prevent blindness in children from retinopathy of prematurity. 